Your checkout page is the last critical place to make a good impression on potential customers. So getting your checkout process right can greatly improve your conversion rates. In this video, I will show you how to customize the WooCommerce checkout page to offer the best experience to customers. This video is brought to you by Seedprod, the number one landing page builder for WordPress with over 1 million users. It features a drag and drop page editor that makes creating pages quick and easy for everyone. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and to learn how Seedprod can help create amazing landing pages for you. So the first thing we need to do is get WooCommerce installed and and if you haven't done that yet, you can check out this article on WP Beginner, and this will get you set up. This is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to install WooCommerce, and here's a list of the steps that you, it'll go through with you. I'm going to leave a link in the description of this article for you to check out. If you're curious, I'm using a theme called Storefront that you can install through WooCommerce, and it's a pretty clean theme, and I installed some demo products as well. And the page that we'll be customizing is Checkout right here, and I've added a couple products here so you can see pricing. Also check out the description for the link to our blog. There's a written version of this tutorial that you can follow here. And the blog is always being updated, so it's a great place to follow for more seed prod information, tutorials, and news. In this video, I'm going to be using SeedProd Pro. So let's head over to SeedProd.com or you can click the link in the description and you can create an account by clicking on Get SeedProd right here. After you create an account, let's go ahead and log in. Enter your email address and password that you used to sign up with on the left-hand side and let's go ahead and log in. Next, let's head over to the Downloads tab and click the big orange button here to download the plugin. On the bottom left-hand side, you'll see a license key here. You can click the icon to copy this and we can close this window. Next, let's head over to Plugins and Add New and Upload Plugin. Now we can actually just drag this zip file right here onto the button or you can select choose file and select the zip file that you downloaded. Let's go ahead and install now and activate plugin. Next let's paste that license key in here and verify key. If everything went well you should see a green success message. If you're using the same browser as I am or something similar you can close this tab at the bottom. Great, let's head over to Pages. And the next thing that we want to do is set up a landing page. We're going to be creating a custom checkout page. Seedprod also comes with great features for coming soon mode, maintenance mode, custom login pages, and 404 pages. And there's plenty of videos on the YouTube channel to check out or the blog on the website to check out on how to use all of these. Let's go ahead and create a new landing page. And let's actually go ahead and create one from scratch. So we're going to use the blank template. But you can select from any of these ones if you wish. There's a lot here to choose from but I'm just gonna go ahead and select the blank template. Let's go ahead and hit the check mark and you can give your page a name and I'm just gonna call mine demo checkout. You can call yours whatever makes sense for you and I'm gonna save and start editing the page. Now you're presented with the seed prod page builder. So on the left hand side, you'll see something called blocks. We have standard blocks, advanced blocks. And if we come further down, we have WooCommerce blocks. Now on the right hand side, this is where we actually design our page. And seed prod is a drag and drop page builder. So you can just take a block and drag it over onto the page and it'll add that over here on the right hand side. To start, we want to choose some type of layout though. So let's go ahead and I'm going to do a two column with the left column being a little bit bigger. So here we go, we have a left column and a right column. Now to get started, we're doing the checkout. So let's just go ahead and add the checkout block right here. And I'm gonna drag that on the left-hand side. Now on the front page, I already added a couple things to my cart. So the beanie and the belt. So you can already see those items in here. That's why you're seeing these. And you'll see a full checkout form already in place here. So a lot of the work was already completed for us. Now we just gotta make it look a little bit better and brand it to our site and add a couple more great features that come with seed prod. So like I mentioned, you have a left column and a right column, and you'll notice all of these lines. There's a purple and orange and blue, and these are to define the areas of your page. So for example, right here, we'll see on the left-hand side, this is our section. If we click on the orange one here, this is the block. So this is the checkout block that we just added. And we'll see the blue here. This is for the rows and columns as well. You also see these little icons on top. So we can move the block using this. We have the cog wheel, and this is the setting. So every time you click on the cog wheel, or if you just click on the block, it'll update on the left-hand side here. We also have a save block. So if we made some unique changes and we plan on using this everywhere on our website or across different landing pages, we can save a unique block and then come back to our blocks. And at the bottom, we have a save blocks area here that we can now use that specific block over and over. We also have the duplicate block. So if I click this, it's gonna make a second one. Of course, we do not want to check out forms on our page. So we use the last icon here to delete the block and yes, delete it. So let's go ahead and click on the cog wheel for our checkout block. And you can see all of the styles here that we can control on the left hand side. We can change the layout of our checkout form. Currently by default, it's a two column. We can switch this to one column. You can see that that looks a little smoother 
and you can come down and it's one just fluid form here that comes down and the additional information is located at the bottom for your product pricing and to place the order. For this example, I'm going to switch back to two columns and next we have the headers. So you have complete control over all of the topography and all of the colors for everything that you can see here. I'm not going to change any of the topography or header colors because there are global settings as well that I like using personally. So I'm going to use that for this example and I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. Next we have the fields just to show you what you can control, the background color, the text color, the border color, your border width. So for example, if I put this up to five, you can see how thick those get here. I'm gonna switch that back to one. The label color, the row spacing and topography. So we also have the buttons. So we can change the style of the buttons. So right now we have a black one here and I can switch that to 2D, vintage. It's a little bit hard to see because it's a black color, but you can kind of see how that is changing there. The ghost, or we could just have a straight up link. I'm just gonna switch this back to flat. And again, you can change the color here but I'm going to leave this alone and just clear this and we're going to use the global settings and see how that looks. And then after you set your global settings, you can come in here and change your local colors and fonts if you wanted to make a specific thing look unique or stand out. Next we have alerts. So we have the info highlight color. If there's an error, what highlight color do you want? And a success highlight color. So info, usually it's blue, error might be red and success you could change to a green color if you like. So right up here, we have a little bit of information. You can see that this is blue. So if you want to change this to something else, maybe red or yellow or whatever color makes sense to you, you can change that to match your website's colors. If you want it the default, you can just clear this and it'll go back to that color. Next we have the cart. So you can change the cart border color, the border width, background color. You can see all of the options here and the payment section as well. So next let's come back and click blocks and we want to add a section because our page currently doesn't have a header. So if we click on sections, we can add these pre-made areas to our page. I'm going to click on header and we have three different ones here that we can import. So I'm going to go with the first one and just click on the plus sign here and you can see that this was added and it puts it here on the bottom of the page. I'm just going to click the move button here and drop that right on the header and you can see that comes right up here. The first option here, I'm going to click the block settings and select an image and I'm just going to select the logo for the website and select and you can see that that imported it here. Next we have our links here so you can hit the block settings and you can just click on one of these and you can give it a custom name and the URL link here to add. So maybe you want this switch to something like your products for hoodies and then the link to where that would be located at. You can open a new window or add a no follow. On the right hand side here, we can click on the button and this is to add some type of call of action. I'm going to delete this and under advanced, I'm going to click on social profiles and I'm going to drag this right up into here. Next, if you click the block settings, we can add all of the social networks that we are members of. So Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever makes sense for your website or store. You can add new share. So this could be one of the listings here. You can change the order of these the settings of it, you duplicate it or delete it. We also have a style here so you can stack these. You can see how those buttons have updated or you can use the default. There's different sizes so you can make them large if you wish or very small or keep them to medium. And you can also align these. So I'm gonna actually align these to the right side. You can also go under templates and see different styles here. And if you come under advanced, you have style icon color, icon size and the space between. So if you change that, you can see how you can space them out a little bit. You can add a shadow if you wish or extra spacing. So I'm actually just going to drop these down a little bit so that you can see that they're even with the menu here. Next, let's come back to our blocks and we're going to come down all the way to WooCommerce. And I'm going to add a products grid right here in our right column. So this added quite a few products here. Let's go ahead and check the settings out to make it look a little bit more calm. And let's change the columns to maybe two. And you can see now they have plenty of spacing to show the button and all of the information that we want. You can also add some pagination here if you wish. So right now it's showing all of the items. So that's why the limit is set to negative one. Now, if we put this up to say three, four products, you can see four here and it also adds the pagination so you can click through to see all of them. So I'm going to limit mine by four products and I'm going to turn the pagination off. And then if you come down to the query section, you can select what you want to show. So you have a lot of options here. So right now we're just showing all products. You can do a custom query, featured products only, maybe products that are on sale, only your best selling products, recent products or top rated products. So if you go under custom query, you have a lot of options here to select by. So select by ID, and then you can pick specific products if you wish by category, tags, query by attribute. Maybe you have a custom group that you wanna create so you can only show those if you wish. 
So again, you have many, many different options here and you can change the order by ascending or descending order. And I'm just gonna select best selling products for this example. Next, I'm gonna come back and add a headline here on the right side. And I'm gonna click on the cog wheel here and I'm just gonna type in forgot something. And I'm just gonna make the font size maybe a little bit smaller so it's not too demanding. You can change the level of H1, H2, H3, etc. I'll set this to an H2 heading. And then under advanced, you can change the topography, color, text, shadow, and spacing. So if I click under edit here, I'm going to go ahead and bold this just so it stands out a little bit more. I'm going to come back to blocks and come down and I'm just going to add a testimonial here. So I'm going to add this block right down here to the bottom right. Click on the options and here you can add the name, add the testimonial, the alignment. So you can change that. If you want to enable the comment bubble or not. And if you have multiple, you have some carousel settings here that will flip through different testimonials without taking up much space. If you click on the actual name, the testimonial here, you have some options. So what the person said, and you can choose an image of that person. You can also use a stock image. So I just did a search for man, since we use John Smith and I'll click this photo here and you can see how that was added to our testimonial here. Okay, great. Now that we have a nice layout happening for our checkout page and it's completely customized, you can add different background colors, gradient colors. You can change all of the fonts, everything. Let's take a look at the global settings. On the bottom left-hand side, we have the cogwheel button here and we have fonts, colors, background, and custom CSS. So under fonts, we have our header font and our body text font. So if I just click a random font here, you can see that all of our headings have changed based on what we selected. We can also change the weight if there are any options for that specific font, as well as the body text. Again, if we just pick a random one, you can see how all of that font has changed for the body text along with the different weights. So if I just select a different weight, you can see how that was lighter. If you need help picking themes, you can click on font themes and Seed Product comes with these paired themes for headers and body text that you can just look through find one that you like and click on it. So if I click on this, this is a nice clean one that was added here. Now you notice that this font is a little bit bigger. So on the right hand side, you can see that our product here went on a second line. So I'm just gonna come back and go to block settings under advanced. For description topography, click edit. And here you can fine tune all of the options that you can change. So I'll change this to a font size of 14. You can see how that fits in there now. Let's go back to our global settings and next click on colors. So we can change our header, text, buttons, and links. So for example, our buttons we can change and that's instantly updated here. So for seed prod, one of the colors that we use is this orange and you can see that that has updated all of the buttons instantly. Again, if you need help with colors, you can click on color palettes and come down and select one of these and it'll instantly change all the colors on your page. You also notice that there was a background color there. So you can see that there's a light gray here. And lastly, we have background here. So you can change a solid color, gradient color. You can choose a background image, or if you even wish, you can have a video background where you can post a YouTube URL here. Also custom CSS, if you understand and can code CSS, you can add any of your code right in here. All right, congratulations, you have a great looking page. Next, if you have any email forms on your checkout page, you could connect this with your favorite email marketing services. This is great for landing pages or capturing leads on custom landing pages that you can create with Seed Prod. So to connect one of these, you just hover over, click the connect button, connect new account, and you would create an account with this specific email marketing provider. And they're gonna provide you with something called an API key. And all of these services have great documentation where they'll show you how you can get that API key under your account settings. And if you need help, please contact their support to find the API key if you're having trouble. You would just paste this number right in here, give it an optional connection name and click connect. Now all of your email forms will be connected to your favorite email marketing service where you can start to run your campaigns on those lists. Next, we have page settings. So this is where you can change your general settings, SEO, analytics, scripts, and custom domain. Under general, here you can change your page title, page URL, the page status between draft and publish. I always like to publish my pages with a little drop down here. You can add a seed prod link powered by seed prod. So it's a little button that you can see on the bottom right hand corner. And if you want to join our affiliate program, you can click the link to join right here and paste in your URL to make 20% commission off any new sales generated from the link. So if you're using any themes or plugins that may conflict in some way, you can turn on isolation mode right here. And we also have a Facebook app ID that you can paste in here if you need that. We also have SEO where we highly recommend installing all in one SEO, which works fantastic with seed prod. We also have analytics, which you can use monster insights 
website. It's a fantastic in analytics plugin for WordPress. If you need any scripts pasted into your header, body, or footer, you can do so right here. And you can set up a custom domain for this specific landing page if you need to. For a checkout page, that probably doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but for other landing pages, this is a great feature. And if you'd like to learn more, there's a link right here to click on or check out the video on the YouTube channel. Once we're happy with everything, let's go ahead and save our page. And I'm gonna go ahead and publish. And there we go, we can see a preview of our custom checkout page. But don't leave yet, we need to do one more important step. So let's go back to Seedprod dashboard and let's go under WooCommerce and settings. And we wanna to go to the advanced tab right here and we wanna select our checkout page. So if I click this down, we need to search for our page. So I created the demo checkout. I'm gonna click this right here and this will make our checkout page this custom one that we created. Let's come down and save changes. And there we go, you can see the custom created checkout page. Now that you know how to customize the WooCommerce checkout page, maybe you would like to check out this video on how to create a simple landing page in WordPress. This video will help you to start generating new sales for your WooCommerce store with high converting landing pages. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.